శ్రీ రామ విజయ చాప్టర్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫోర్ వాల్మీకి బ్రాడ్ సీతా టు హిజ్ అబోర్డ్ అండ్ టుక్ ఎవ్రీ కేర్ ఆఫ్ హెర్ ఆఫ్టర్ ది ఎక్స్పైరేషన్ ఆఫ్ నైన్ మంత్స్ షీ వాజ్ డెలివర్డ్ ఆఫ్ ట్విన్ సన్స్ అట్ మిడ్ డే యాజ్ బ్రైట్ యాజ్ ది సన్ వెన్ ది వైఫ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద రిషీస్ కేమ్ అండ్ హెల్ప్డ్ హర్ ఇన్ హర్ కన్ఫైన్మెంట్ ద ఫస్ట్ బార్న్ సన్ వాజ్ ద యంగర్ అండ్ ద సెకండ్ బార్న్ వాజ్ ది ఎల్డెస్ట్ ద డిసైపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ వాల్మీకి వెంట్ అండ్ ఇన్ఫార్మ్ ద రిషి ఆఫ్ ది బర్త్ ఆఫ్ ద టూ సన్స్ where upon valmiki immediately came to his abode and performed the necessary ceremony he sprinkled water over the younger son with a kush grass and named him kusha after it the eldest son having been placed on lava a rush like grass the rishi in this manner sprinkled the water over him and called him lahu when the two sons became 8 years old the rishi performed their vrata band the ceremony of investing a boy with a thread and entertained the rishis for four days a kamadhenu or a cow supplied them with whatever they wanted the rishi taught them the vedas mantras ramayana the puranas dhanur vidya they thoroughly mastered all sciences and arts and always played with the sons of the rishis when they became 10 years old they went on hunting excursions and brought home the animals killed by them one day kusha killed a sage on top of a mountain who was a brother of valmiki he was meditating there in the form of a deer they dragged the corpse of the sage towards the abode of valmiki when the latter asked them on the road what they are doing we have brought a deer for you replied they and shall make a seat of its skin for you valmiki having looked at the corpse found that it was his brother and said to himself now both the boys have become very brave they have killed even they have even killed a brahmin so saying to himself valmiki performed the funeral ceremony of his brother and informed sita of the valor of her sons when she said what do i know it is you who taught them dhanur vidya mantras arts and all sciences i implore you papa to free them from this sin unless they bring 1000 brahma kamalas lotus replied valmiki and worship the god shiva with all their heart and soul they will not be freed from the sin you papa will you kindly tell us where those kamalas can be had inquired the boys we will immediately bring them here there is a lake called brahma sarovara near ayodhya continued valmiki but a number of warriors are posted by rama to watch it those kamalas are used by rama for the worship of shiva poo said the boys we shall immediately bring those kamalas let there be hundreds of brave warriors to watch the lake we shall punish them and even capture rama so saying they hastened to the lake kusha went and plucked all the kamalas when the warriors came upon him but lagu killed many of them those who had escaped went and informed rama of what the boys had done rama was greatly surprised and praised the valor of the boys lahu and kusha brought the kamalas and worshiped shiva as directed by valmiki and thus they were freed from the sin they had committed in killing the brahmin chapter 54 completed jai shri ram